and Rec Sheep Shakes, and uh, we've got a little company called Stokes Sources, which has been going uh, just over 15 years now, and uh, we employ about 70 people. And our whole ethos is to make the best tasting sauces that you can buy in a jar. So there are some people who will say, oh, I can make better myself, but when it comes to buying something ready to use, I think we're right up there. And that's certainly what we're trying to do. That's the kind of thing that, that makes all of us smile because uh, when, you, when you do something and you think uh, other people appreciate what you do, I mean, that makes it all worth it. It isn't at the end of the day about pan shillings and pence, it's about, it's about people smiling. It's about making people smile. It's, you do something and you're appreciated. As human beings, that's all any of us really want. We want to be appreciated. Yeah, we're, you know, we're both fairly local firms and uh, that's nice too because it's, there's a kind of connection, a suffer connection there. And we take uh, great pride in the fact that we export to about 50 different countries, but Fred Olsen Cruises are out there, the lines are they're all, over, all over the world. And there's a, you know, a little bit of Stokes out there too. It makes us feel very proud. Uh, yeah, we're using the ketchup, the mayonnaise and the mustard in the squeezy bottles. We have those on all the buffets for the burgers and the hot dogs and things like that. Uh, we're also using the fig relish. We normally use that for the cheese plates. Um, we have the red onion jam, which we use for canopies, sandwiches and cheese. And we also have mustards, which we use for our carving station. And the horseradish, which is used for carving station as well. I like the red onion marmalade to go with the cheese, uh, but now I've just tried the green tomato. I quite like that one more. <laughs> it is a spectacular place, the Corinth Canal. It's, uh, and it's a very narrow, steep-sided passage. It must have been wonderful to be a, a passenger going down there watching. I mean, you must have been able to nearly reach out and touch the rock. Yeah, we get our olive oil down there, so we either source it from down in that part of the world or from Crete. Both those areas are, are professed to be two of the four greatest olive growing areas in the world. Well, uh, I think you have seen most of them. We have um, some wallabies which came by accident, but it's a blessing to have them. Uh, we've got some emus, some rears, which are uh, sort of just a little bit smaller than ostriches. We've got lots of chickens and bantams and cockerels. Lots of people leave us those things. Um, rabbits, goats, pigs, sheep. You saw Ned and George, the two uh, uh, Brahmin, miniature Brahmins, zebus, 11 dogs, um, a bearded dragon, a cat, um, some fish, a ferret. Um, uh, what else have I missed? Um, guinea fowl, ducks, geese. Yeah, quite a, quite a motley collection, our little menagerie. Well, from what I've understood, Fred Olsen is all about people, and we're all about people. People are our core. You, you know, you're only ever going to be as good as the people in your team. And uh, we, we go to great lengths to try and ensure that people are happy, um, people feel appreciated, that, uh, and training, so uh, people can continue to grow as much as they want. Yeah, I think people are what it's about. That's the core, and I think that's perhaps what we uh, have in common as well.